We're leading you into a holiday weekend, and we're back here on Jock 98.7, and we are pleased to be joined on the guest line by Ryan Krecklow, former Missouri State basketball player and uh, current GA. He's got a whole host of things going on. We're going to get into all that, but first of all, Kreck, how are you, bud? Good. How are you doing? I appreciate you having me on today. I know. It's good to hear from you. The last time that uh, we had you on, we, we kind of recorded it over at JQH Arena, and you guys were just going into um, the Arch Madness tournament, so I guess that was two years ago almost. That, too much man, time, time has passed. Time flies, man. I'm telling you. And now you're like an old man. You know, you're just right? like one of us. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> For sure, man. You know, before we get into some of the stuff that you're doing upcoming here later in the month, uh, you know, how are things going with uh, your GA and, and kind of getting back with the Bears basketball program and uh, studying kind of the coaching lifestyle, if you will, under Dana Ford? Yeah, I mean, it's good so far. Um, honestly, the pandemic has thrown a little curveball in the whole situation. Um, I did get to do a little bit of something last weekend. It was Bears and Badges where we went over to um, to an apartment complex and we met up with the Springfield Police Department and we put on a clinic for – a free clinic for the kids and just kind of brought the community together and just did a good thing doing that, and it was a blast. Um, but, yeah, we're looking to do a lot more once uh, everything clears over. How unique is it? I mean, you know, you're kind of given a platform as a as a student athlete at Missouri State, and to be able to kind of continue that, whether it's helping out with a, a you know the Bears and Badges event, or you know, what we're really having you on is because you're doing a Bears for Life skill camp. You and Jared Dixon. This is the really. I mean, it's just awesome that you're able to do these things and have a voice in the community post playing. Yeah, me and and JD. Um, we're excited. We're super excited to – we're just doing things to give back to the community. Um, the Bears for Life Skills Camp is one of those things. And a lot of people don't know this, but Jake Hedrick, a uh, former coach from Missouri State, he's behind the scenes right now getting everything set up and organized. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just great. to Springfield was so good to us in our four years. Um, and, yeah, it's just good. It's good. It feels good to do stuff like this to uh, – give back to the community and just um, share the love that we felt for those four years that we were here playing. You know, I was watching you on the bench uh, this year up in St. Louis during Arch Madness, and all I could tell is, man, I can I think Crack's ready to go in. I wish he, I think he wants to take off the, the business attire <laughs> and throw on the old Missouri State threads and get in there and scrap. You don't know how much I wish I could do that one. <laughs> man. It's tough when you're powerless like that on the bench, right? Now you know how the coach feels when he can't. I mean, Dana played. He knows he can't get in there and do it for you. You, you completely rely on those guys. There was even one time I I got I got um uh, I got in trouble with one of the referees because I thought I was still a player, but <laughs> we'll get past that. We'll learn from this stuff, you know. <laughs> so there's a total of four camps starting July 23rd at Lebanon High School. Give us the details on that one. Yeah, so uh, we're, we're going to have a camp. We'll have four locations, uh, one July 23rd, one July 24th, one July 28th, one July 27th. Um, the Lebanon one's going to be the 23rd, and pretty much we're just going to do um, three-hour camps, skills camps, um, fourth grade, uh, kindergarten through fourth grade in the morning. Um, from one to four, we'll do fifth and eighth grade, and we'll do – um, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., 9th to 12th grade from all four locations. And it's just going to be me and J.D. and Coach Hedrick, uh, Jake Hedrick. I'm still in that habit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, we're just going to go in, and it's just great development for kids. And, um, I mean, as a former D Division One athlete, I mean, the summer is where you really separate yourself from other individuals in your sport. Um you just got to go in and put the work in. And uh, it's just going to be awesome that me and J.D. and uh, Jake Hedrick, just former Division One players and coaches, just just trying to help kids out and get better, you know, separate themselves for the next season coming forward. 
Ryan Kreklow is our guest here on Jock 98.7. He and Jared Dixon and Jake Hedrick have teamed up for Bears for Life, a skills camp. First one is July 23rd, Lebanon High School, uh, 9 a.m. to 12 p. K through 4th grade, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. 5th through 8th, and then 5 to 8 in the evening. It'll be 9th through 12th. So I would imagine that you guys have already discussed and planned out kind of the different levels of skills that these guys will be capable of. I mean, dealing with a kindergartner obviously is going to be a lot different than dealing with a senior in high school. Yeah, and, and as as the skill levels go on, um, the camps are going to get real competitive. It's going to be real fun, um, and I'm honestly really excited to get after it. I mean, this is going to be a preview of uh, what my hopeful career will be as a coach um, going forward, and I'm just – me and J.D. are just really excited to get going and just sharing our love for the game with um, – kids in the area you know summer ball it, it, it's recreational but the the spirit of competitiveness never leaves I mean that that goes on I mean even just playing pickup basketball in your backyard anybody who's ever done that like there's a level of competitiveness that you carry with you if you're playing the game of basketball and so I like how you say how these summer endeavors for someone who has hopes of playing collegiate basketball uh, this is where you kind of separate yourself from the rest of the tide Exactly, exactly. This this summer, and honestly, it just goes for every single day past this summer. I mean, it's a 24-hour, seven days a week uh, type of deal if you really want to be the best you can be at, at anything, to be honest. But, yeah. So July 23rd at Lebanon High School, then the next day, July 24th, it's at the Fieldhouse Sports Center. Where is that? Oh, that's uh in Springfield. Um, yeah, towards the south side. And then we'll have one in Nixa, and then we'll have another one in the field house um, a few days – or one day before that one. But, yeah, um, one in Lebanon, and the rest of the three are in the Springfield area. So we're trying to, we're trying to put a main focus on Springfield and then um, reaching up to Lebanon for one day. July 27th, back at the field house, 9 a.m. to 12 p. K through 5th, 12.30 to 3.30, 6 through 12th. And then the final one is July 28th in Nixa at the Nixa Parks and Recreation Center, 9 a.m. to 12 p. K through 4th, 1 p. to 4 p. 5th through 8th, and then 5 p. to 8 again, 9th through 12th grade. Did you play at the courts in the summer ever in during your tenure at Mo State? Yeah, um, I think the first three years, if I recall. Yeah. Um, I think the senior year, I think uh, you kind of got a little bit of a leeway on if you wanted to do it or not. But uh, the first three years, yeah, it was one of those things that it was, it was mandatory and you win every week. Um, and it was a blast. It was a blast, yeah. Um, the courts were awesome. So the cost to be part of the Bears for Life Skills Camp, uh, pre-registration, $35, and then day of – um, it's 40 so if you do it beforehand, you get a little discount, and that includes a camp T-shirt. Yep, yep. Sounds like a pretty no uh, – sounds like pretty much a no-brainer. I mean, even if you, you should go to all four, but if you just make one, I mean, what's <laughs> 35 bucks out of your pocket to go get a little – you know, get some coaching from uh, three division former one uh, athletes and coaches – and uh, also you get a T-shirt. Well, how's that T-shirt looking? Did you get a hook up there? I hope somebody took care of you with the T-shirt uh, You design. know, I know a guy. You know, I know a guy. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. It helps to know a guy, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, this is a, you know this is just kind of the start, and I think uh, it's it's really unique. Now, do you think JD will teach these guys how to hit half court buzzer beaters when you're you trailing know, by however many at the end of regulation? I'm not sure about the high school division, but I'm I'm guessing at this K through fourth grade we might have a couple competitions with that one. <laughs> <laughs> is that to this day still one of the craziest moments that you've ever been a part of? Well, I mean, I got a, I got a picture. My mom hung a picture up in our living room. Every time I pass by that, I, I still can't believe that that happened. I mean, just in awe still. That is really something. How are your parents doing? Both uh, obviously now uh, stepped away from the volleyball program at Missouri. They're good. They're retired, you know, so they've been at it for 20 years coaching volleyball. Um, they've just been leaving every other week, just going somewhere new. They got a camper and they got a truck, and they just been – they just got back from Colorado a few days ago. Living uh, the good life. Just living the dream, you know. <laughs> Can you blame them? Have they given you any instruction on how to deal with, you know, young, immature kids? Because they, you're going to see some of that now. 
Yeah, just patience and have fun with it. That's about it. Well, it's it's so neat because ultimately you're giving back to a game that gave you so much joy and, and uh, competitiveness and passion, and to be able to do that, I mean, that's your livelihood. Yeah, Springfield was awesome. I, I, can't, I can't thank the community enough. Um, speaking for me and J.D., yeah, we've talked about this multiple times, but just an awesome place to spend your four years and just – given what you got to the university, I mean, it was just, it was a great time. So the best way to register for these camps uh, on here on the sheet, and you can follow uh, Crec on Twitter, by the way. These, he's got a great little image that kind of captures all of what we've been talking about at r underscore pain underscore 10, r underscore pain, P-A-I-N underscore 10, and it'll give you all the details. But the best way to uh, register, reach out to Jake. Yep, Jake Hedrick, um, phone number 205-300-1145. And uh, email walker underscore pg at yahoo.com. But if you reach out to either us at the radio station or Crack on social media, wh- however you do it, uh, we'd love yep. to get you guys uh, filled up. Have you had good response yet? Oh, yeah, it's going good. We got kids signed up, ready. Everyone's excited. Um, but, yeah, like you said, it, uh, me or J.D., uh, any platform on social media, um, we're available. And if, it, if you have any more questions or concerns, just contact us. Feel free. Um, and we're just excited to do this. Maybe that old ball coach uh, could help you out. You know, Dana Ford's got a lot of followers. Maybe he needs to give you a little retweet. Uh, give you, give you. you know, a... that, I don't think that would hurt. You know? And the last time I checked, he's got like three young, young kids. I think he should be signing up for the Bears for Life Skills Camp. I think I think he tweeted back at me and said he's going if Carson learns how to shoot a half court shot. <laughs> oh man, don't you love Coach Ford? There's just something he's about awesome. him. He's awesome. He's just a great guy. He really is. He just Fantastic. gets it. Well, listen, Crack, uh, you're good to come on here and do it uh, and, and give us some details. And we love the initiative that yourself and Jared Dixon and Jake Hedrick have got going. It's Bears for Life Skills Camp again to pre-register, thirty-five bucks. Day of, it's forty. You get a T-shirt with that, and there are four different days: July twenty-third at Lebanon, July twenty-fourth at the Field House, twenty-seventh at the Field House, and then July twenty-eighth in Nixa at the Nixa Parks and Recreation. And there are different platforms and levels for each uh, age group. So that is all tiered for uh, what is suitable for um, K through 4th, 5 through 8th, and 9th through 12th. And the competitiveness, I'm sure, will be on point. Because anyone who's ever watched Crack play, or Jared Dixon for that point, I mean, you guys, you know, what did Coach Ford say in your senior year? I need to build a program around guys like Crack and Dixon. That was just, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we're going to get after it. We're going to have fun, and we're going to learn some things. Dude, love to hear the initiative. We'll keep promoting it, and uh, don't be a stranger. You're always welcome on these airwaves. Awesome. I appreciate you having me on today. You got it. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more Sports Report on Jock 98.7.